This instructional video will demonstrate how to write a proper equilibrium constant expression when given a reaction. This process consists of three steps, the first of which is to balance the reaction. The second step is to write out the equilibrium constant expression using products over reactants, raising the individual concentrations to whatever their stoichiometric coefficients are. And then the final step is to remove the things that do not count in the equilibrium constant expression, namely solids and pure liquids. So, to do the first step, balancing, I'll use blue, and we're going to need two copies of our iron 2 oxide. This will allow us to have two irons on both sides, and three oxygens, and our two hydrogens. So, now that this has been balanced, we can write out the equilibrium constant expression. So, our iron 3 oxide concentration and our hydrogen gas concentration go up top. Our iron 2 oxide concentration will need to be squared because of the coefficient there. And our water remains put. So, now that we've written out products of reactants, the last thing we have to do is make sure that we only keep the parts that matter. Because our iron 2 oxide and iron 3 oxide are both solids, these will be canceled out. And because water is a pure liquid, it will also be canceled out. In the end, this means that the equilibrium constant expression will rely only on the hydrogen gas concentration. And that concludes how to come up with a proper equilibrium constant expression given a reaction.